New reports indicate that in a private meeting with House Speaker Mike Johnson, Marjorie Taylor Greene accused a fellow Republican, Georgia Representative Richard McCormick, of getting physical with her. So according to CNN, Green claimed to Johnson that McCormick grabbed her by the shoulders and shook her following a public spat they had over competing resolutions to censure Democratic Representative Rashida Tlaib of Michigan and asked the speaker to address the issue. Now, what is the issue at play here? So it, it was about the censure resolution. Marjorie Green had her version that failed. McCormick had his own version and that succeeded. McCormick voted against Green's censure resolution and then introduced his own more narrow version, which prompted Green to say to reporters at the time that McCormick had his ego bruised, it kind of seems like she had her ego bruised, but nonetheless, she also publicly bashed other Republicans who voted against her resolution. Now, McCormick has denied that he was aggressive with Green, um, saying that the interaction was intended to be friendly. And by the way, what was the interaction? She claims that he grabbed her by the shoulders and shook her aggressively. That is the accusation here. Um, now, Richard McCormick says the following, I understand why there would be a lot of raw emotions following the censure vote, given that her censure was tabled and mine passed. My intention was to encourage Representative Green by making a friendly gesture. I said to her, at least we can have an honest discussion, to which she, she said she did not appreciate that. For that, I immediately apologized and have not spoken to her since. Now, this isn't the first time that things have gotten allegedly physical. We didn't see that interaction, so we can't say that for certain this is what actually happened between Green and McCormick. But nonetheless, we have seen some weird semi-violent situations play out in the House of Representatives. Kevin McCarthy has apparently gotten physical with two of his colleagues. So that was an allegation by Adam Kinzinger. Let's take a look. Yeah, so twice. So imagine just I'm kind of standing in the back of the house, leaning over that gold railing, just kind of watching what's going on, talking to people that walk by. And I get wham, I get shoulder checked. Never had that happen on the floor of the house. And I turn and Kevin McCarthy's already passed me. And my initial reaction was like, oh, we used to be more friends. And I'm like, wait, we haven't been friends in a year. That was serious. And then like three weeks later, we're passing each other basically on that same walkway in the house. And he leans over and shoulder checks me again, like when you're in fourth grade. Man, and by the way, what spurred that conversation was what allegedly, well, we all actually saw it on tape. What happened to Republican Representative Tim Burchett, who happened to be one of the GOP lawmakers who voted to oust Kevin McCarthy from his speakership role. Here's a reminder of that. Sorry, Kevin, didn't mean to elbow. Why'd you elbow me in the back, Kevin? Oh, no, I so bad. Hey, Kevin, you got any guts? Jerk. Has he done that before? No. Oh, you got no guts. You did so. They sat there and the reporter said it right there. What kind of chicken move is that? You're you're pathetic, man. You are so pathetic. What a jerk. You need security, Kevin. So I don't know what's going on, but we're not talking about you know Democrats versus Republicans here. We're specifically talking about Republican on Republican violence, Cenk. Yeah, we're not even gonna get into Senator Wayne Grove from Oklahoma trying to take on the Teamsters president. Yes. And adjusting his ring, all right, let's go, man, you stand up, you stand up. Sean okay. O'Brien, that's yeah. right. So, uh, <laughs> and his name's not actually Wayne Grove. Okay, uh, so this is getting out of hand. But in this particular story, I don't know who's right. First of all, Republican politicians, they're almost all liars. So I, I don't know who to trust. So it, because context matters so much here. If he did something playful, for example, um, I remember one of the charges against Al Franken was that while they were taking a picture, he put his arm around uh, a woman, which is what you do when you're taking a picture, right? And they're like, oh, is that sexual harassment? And they drove the guy out. I mean, this is that's insane. Okay, so was that was this incident like that where he was doing like something playful, uh, and then she thought it wasn't welcome? Okay, and he's apologized and then moved on. Then not guilty. Or did he grab her and shake her? Now I think that's unlikely. Except Kevin McCarthy's elbowing people left and right. Who knows? Like all orders breaking down. It is. You're right. Yeah, and look, the reason why I think you should be skeptical of what Marjorie Greene is claiming here 
is because she is salty about the fact that her resolution was tabled, whereas McCormick's was voted on. By the way, I think both resolutions were disgusting, deplorable, and horrible considering what it was about. They were going after Rashida Tlaib for having the audacity as a Palestinian American to speak out against the war crimes currently being committed by the Israeli government. Um, <laughs> but, but free speech. <laughs> right, no, 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 100%. Free speech is important and it should be valued. When it's convenient for the lawmakers, uh, any speech they dislike, inconvenient, let's censure uh, members of Congress who engage in it. That's that's yeah. what happened here. Look, there's no way of knowing, but if I had to guess right now, I would guess that Marjorie Taylor Greene is lying. And the reason is because she's the one who would be mad at him because his censure won, right? And so he has no reason to be mad at her and shake her. And that is unlikely that he would do that to a female representative in his own party, it's not impossible, but less likely given the context. And Marjorie Taylor Greene is just is not a normal liar, she's a gigantic liar. So all of that leans towards, if you had to make a decision on it, I'd say he's probably right and she's wrong, but we weren't there. Final thing I'll say about it is, I don't know what Representative Johnson is supposed to do with this information. Like what is she, so she's going to the Speaker of the House, she's complaining about this to him. I don't know what she's expecting from it, but I probably censure, censure anyone who doesn't agree with Marjorie Taylor Greene. All right, I'm okay. for free speech, but get rid of every other congressperson who doesn't agree with me. <laughs> okay, if that's what you think free speech is. Hey, thanks for watching that video. We really appreciate it, guys. And we appreciate it if you become members because that allows us to be independent, honest, progressive, all the things that you don't get from corporate media. And all of that is because of you guys. Hit the join button below and become one of us, become a young Turk.